In this video, we'll be showing how to update your 9MD display to the latest software and the newest map. Please go to the SPD website to download the latest software and map. Enter the website, go into the MBECU section, then into the software section, then scroll down onto the MBE 9MD software release, right click and save as it says in the instructions. Ensure it is saving to your desktop. Then click save. This will only take a few seconds on most PCs. Then ensure that it is downloaded correctly, which it has. I move it into the center of the screen to make it more visible. Then open EasyMap 6 if it's not already open. You do not have to be connected to the display at this moment in time. Then we want to go to File, Import Files. Find the file you have downloaded onto your desktop. There it is. It must be left in its zipped form. So EasyMap 6 knows what to do with it. Select it, click Open. EasyMap 6 has now imported seven files on this occasion. Click OK. Now we need to either connect the ECU and display to the laptop if it's not already been connected and power it up. You can see at the moment it is already talking to the 9M, 9A4 ECU, which is connected to and we need to change the CAN connection so it will talk to the display. Click on the ECU ID, then we go to USB CAN communication, untick CAN 1 and tick CAN 3. Once you have finished doing all this, do not forget to go back again and convert back to CAN 1. Then click OK. It will now identify your display and we need to update the software. To do this, we now go to the Update ECU Software, which is the third icon from the left. Click it. You will then have a list of options. You want to pick the one with the newest date, and it will also be a box file. This will download, first of all, the map, and then the software. It will appear at the bottom, and click Open. This will take approximately a minute as it sends down the new map. It will then erase the software and load new software into the display. Once it starts downloading the software, you will see it will go through a section where it erases the original sections of the display. Once that's completed, it will then start to download the new code into the display. As I said, the process will take approximately a minute to do. Ensure that there's no break in power to the laptop display at any time during this process. The system does have a safety feature uh, and if it fails to download, it should automatically go back to what we call the raw boot block code and allow you to recover it. But it's recommended to avoid this at all possibility and make sure everything remains powered during this process. Once the process has finished downloading, leave it for a few seconds to ensure everything is written correctly and then we'll give you a quick demonstration on how to select the different functions. The process is almost finished now, it's at 85% so only a few more seconds left to go. Once the process is finished the display will boot up in the normal way that you would see when you're powering it up with the key. It goes through, does the test, then the MBE logo, and it boots up in the normal way. You can now touch right panel to scroll through, or the left panel to scroll in the opposite direction. You can touch the bottom of the screen to change the brightness 
from day to night settings. If you then wish to return to the top screen, touch the top of the screen and that will take you back to your page number one. We will show you how to make changes to these with the onboard menu in another video.